you're back. Will you tell me about your trip, please? Were there any whales? Wait, let's play hide and seek first. I'll cover my eyes and you hide. You have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy master. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Welcome home. <laughs> She'll see you at once. They're sick people, not criminals. We've gone beyond that question, your majesty. They're... They're my citizens, and we will save them from the plague if we can. All of them. Very well. We will not speak of this again. Mother, Corvo is back. Thank you, Emily. Leave us, please. As you wish, your majesty. Corvo. Two days early. Full of surprises, as usual. It's a fair wind that brings Later, you home to me. Later, will you show me that TV and chocolate you have you promised? Follow me, <laughs> I hoped that one of the other cities had dealt with this before, knew of some cure. This news is very bad. We're at the breaking point. Cowards. They're going to blockade us. They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Are you okay, Mother? You seem sad. Yes, don't worry, darling. Mother is fine. Wait, where are the guards? Who sent them away? Mother, look! What are they doing on the rooftop? What? Emily, come here! Emily, get behind me! Look out! <laughs> Corvo, thank you. If you hadn't been here... No more! Not again! Mommy! No! Get away from her! Corvo! <sighs> Corvo, it's all coming apart. Find, find Emily. Protect her. You're the only one. You'll know what to do, won't you? Corvo. Ward us all. Look at what he's done. Yes, he's killed the Empress. What did you do with young Lady Emily, traitor? Her own bodyguard. Ironic. I'll see you beheaded for this, Corvo. Peg him. Should eat, Corvo. This meal comes from a friend. What the Attention! Attention! The solitary wing is off limits to make Gotcha now. With one week's notice.
some kind of explosive to blast his way out. It doesn't happen by accident. You think he had help? Who'd know how to do that? Don't get past me, sir. Oh, yeah. What the heck? Guys, die! Some good people. That was a pretty bad cold ridge. Well, they said you'd come out here. I can still hardly believe it. If I'm three seconds behind, I'm gonna reset. Just down the river from here. All right, we'll keep going. I expect to lose about a second and a half on this next split, but I expect to gain everything back on the split after that. This is the Hound Pits pub. Closed for business. Half the district marked off as dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose. I was having really good cold ridges earlier today too. I don't know what happened with the last two. They were just terrible. Of course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. Take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the loyalists. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. So it's starting at We can continue this later. Yes. The arrow's as much an art. I'll be crafty. Can you get a new tank from upstairs to the inside? Be careful. Why don't you stay there? Perfect. Tell me what I can make for you. You must be exhausted. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Sleep well. It's not a bad idea, actually. Ah, uh, messed Hello. up that skip. I had it, but I didn't think I did, so I stopped it. What? I've never gotten stuck there for that long. That was really weird, actually. Not sure why that happens. Otherwise really smooth though. Mm. 
how you use Definitely worth going until at least the end of mission one. Well, let's get down. Man, I'm just terrible at cutscene scopes right now. I've messed up like half of them. Ready to go. Just give the signal. Alright, that's about as much time as I would expect to lose there anyway, so yeah, that went fine. Like, I got stuck at that one spot for a while, but everything else was really smooth. It'll be a rough trip. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. Man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes, like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. Don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. All right. Second try, not bad. That mana pot's unusually difficult to get. Just in an awkward place. Alright, I won't be of any help here, so I'll make my own. I was just reading in the up. Pretty good. Got that. Watches having trouble holding the sides. Bunch of children playing games. That's all. Good. Oh, I almost got the hard landing there. I messed up the blink, but recovered it just in time. Alright, that was pretty smooth. Campbell lived a pretty posh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. Are you ready to go? Okay, let's go. So I'm using new strats there that uses an extra mana pot, and saving almost eight seconds is really good there. So I'm pretty happy with that. Admiral Havelock and Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect they'll want to congratulate you. This due to new strats and hopefully not messing up, I should be able to save about 20 seconds off the world record just due to those strat changes. All the rest is execution. You did it. I did it. Citizens living on the north side of the river. Hello. Almost messed that up. Depends on you. Got her. Took a lot of damage, but that doesn't matter. Uh, I keep messing up that blink. Corvo. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. I know the golden. 
I'll take you to the Golden Cat. That's a bad way to do that, Blink. I've taken Lord There's a Blink right next to Samuel, and he takes forever just to look up at you. Still, I usually lose two seconds there, so I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, I almost never save time in this split. I need to get good luck and have really good execution. If I want to save time here. You might have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl... This is actually, I think... all safe and sure. Maybe. This is a mission that depends heavily on how well you execute, because there's a lot of guards in the Golden Cat, and they're kind of unpredictable, so you just need to be used to uh, their movements and be able to react to whatever pattern they do. There's a lot of luck not only with where the Pendletons are, but how the guards react. And there's some really tricky jumps that you sometimes have to do in... Uh, the golden cat itself. Alright, I messed that up, but not by any significant amount, really. Just could have gone smoother. And I didn't get shot there, which is always nice. And let's hope for good luck. Alright, got good luck. I should not use that pot right then. And I got the slowdown animation. Oh no. Alright, that was really bad. Not really bad, but pretty bad. Oh, come on. Alright, so that was really messy, but I got good luck, so it doesn't matter too much. Come on. And I have plenty of mana for this section, which is reasonably important. All I have to do is not mess up this blink, which I've done like twice today. Alright. That went pretty well, all things considered. Although you must have worked wonders out there in the city tonight. I can't believe my old eyes. Uh, I'm actually pretty sad about that. I had almost the same time loss on that segment when I had bad luck on the Pendletons in one of my previous runs today. So I could have done that like eight seconds faster easy. But still had a world record pace oh, I since I have an extra mana pot. Grown up business girl. I mean your ladyship. Forgive me. It's okay. I heard a lot of grown up business at the Golden Cat. Oh. I should concentrate on piloting this boat. It's the slowdown on killing Pendleton that costs so much. Kinda doesn't seem like it, but it really does. I should try and figure out if there's a more consistent way to stop that from happening. It's either he notices you early, and so like he is alerted before you attack him, meaning it takes two attacks, or maybe it's that I'm not close enough when I attack him the first time. Yes, you may. You will get to see it all. Or even I'm not close enough when I attack him the second time, maybe. I think I'll like it here. I don't know. I don't usually get a slowdown though, so I've never really wanted to test it. You do not fail to impress. Armed with a blade, you change the course of the city forever. And with the Pendleton twins gone, our own Lord Pendleton will assume their votes in Parliament. In one night, you've done more than most men do in a lifetime. I need to speak to you soon. But for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention. Corvo. The Lord...
All right, my boy. Off to Caldwin's bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. I'm sure there's a much more efficient way to do that intermission. I'm aboard when you're ready. But I only learned today that uh, you get a full mana refresh after that. I always thought that your mana amount carried over to Caldwin's Bridge, but it doesn't. What do you think, Corvo? So I can just blink oh, all I want there. But I blinked one time too many. It would have been nice to have that last blink for Samuel. And it took too long to set up the blink in the uh, bar. But no biggie. It still saved time over World Record, because World Record does really conservative blinks there. Because I didn't know about the refresh. Now, about bringing Sokolov back alive, he's smart. Maybe even smarter than Piero. Alright, so I want to not soft lock, and I want to use the new route, which uses an additional mana pot. What do I know? Okay. It took me way too long to set that up. But at least I'm not going to soft lock. pretty good. Also good. I need to not put away my weapon there. Alright, that was a pretty good bridge. I messed up on my bridge in the world record by a little bit, and I'm using strats at save time. So, yeah, 11 seconds is a really good amount of time to save there. I mean, I can get worst possible boil luck and still be ahead of world record pace. Or I'll... and be able to catch up on Dunwall anyway. Because I have 12 seconds to make up on Dunwall as well. If I get perfect boil luck and good execution for the rest of the game, I could save almost half a minute off the world record. while you were sleeping. You? I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. Creepy. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Callista will come get me. Oh, that was... that was really bad. In so many ways. Oh, goodness. I hear you. Yep. Oh, I intermission. Royal costume ball, huh? That'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? I expected to lose more time there. It's also raining outside, so hopefully the power doesn't go out. That would be awesome. All right. Regions pulling out all the stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. So I'm gonna do the safe the lamp jump. Is, once you get to the party, costs about an extra second, but it 
close to doubles the success rate of the lamp jump, I think. Yeah, if I hadn't done it the safe way, I would have uh, fallen off the lamp there. And it is thundering really hard outside, so I think this is going to have to be my last game. Yes. Alright, bad spawn, but first bedroom, so I can't complain too much. Pretty messy at the end, but we best be on our way. Quickly. That's really good. Alright. So I lost a few seconds to execution errors and the safe lamp jump, but if I hadn't done the safe lamp jump I would have failed it, so that's good. And I guess I got slightly better boy luck than I did in my world record. Though I honestly don't remember what I got in my world record, so I can't really say one way or the other. Hmm. I could conceivably be I checked the wine cellar. 23 seconds Who's ahead at the end of the next split. Also, this is the farthest any run has gone today. And being 11 seconds ahead is really mm -hmm. awesome. Oh, I forgot which intermission it was. Oh my god. And now we've done away with a woman. Uh, I thought it was the intermission after Lord Regent for some reason. So I did the wrong blink, but it didn't cost me much. So I don't feel a thing for her. You've had a long I almost blinked a second time though, that would have been I fear it's not over. pretty bad. Havelock and Martin have already cooked up something more for you. They would like to see you now. In Havelock's chambers above the vault. Corbold. The streets adjacent to Boyle Men remain uh. off limits, pending an old Omar, ready to face the Lord Regent? About time we took care of my say. Long past time. This is not the urn until I get past Dunwall. And really not until I get past Sloth Jump, but this is looking pretty good. This is it, Corvo. Last memories of Dunwall Tower might not be good ones. Huh? There's definitely a lot of time to Maybe save on this run though. My execution has not been be a bit all that great. It's had no major mistakes, but a lot of small ones that have cost me four or five seconds in a, a few missions. Calls it safe like Pendleton could have been done a lot faster. Another point of interest. Boyle could have been done a lot faster even with the same luck. Broadcast control station here where all them announcements and, come from. Uh cold ridge was really bad. One of my worst cold ridges of the day. Although it doesn't mean much because there's not too much variation. Next time I see you, the Lord Region will be dead. So here we go. And if not, well it was an honor to serve with you. Awesome. That's what I messed up with my world record run, getting into the safe. But that went smooth. Uh, I jumped over the railing instead of standing on top of it, but not a big deal. Alright, we can save another few seconds here, three new strats. Awesome. Alright, we're gonna do it. 
Is it all oh, I'm so good at this game. You ready to go back to the hound pits? <laughs> oh man. Thanks to you, Corey. Wow. All right, let's go. Oh, I can't believe I uh, successfully landed in Samuel's head there. <laughs> that is so risky. But I felt like going YOLO, so yeah, Big awesome changes. run so far. Unfortunately, amazed. I don't really think there's anything Small I can do from here on out to save time. My world record run was pretty solid now. from here to the end, and there have been no route changes since that. So, I'm 25 seconds ahead, but on the other hand, I'm not going to be able to get any more than that, I don't think. Like, my flooded district and world record was the best flooded district I've ever done in a run, and I've, like, not practiced it since the world record. Oh, I almost failed that. Alright, we're good. So now I get a few minutes to, uh, to, uh, prepare myself. And not stress out, because it's totally not stressful. Alright, this is to earn. I hope. And Dunwall went so well. <laughs> oh wow. I can't believe I saved 14 seconds. This is the one who was with the Empress when she died. I mean, safe was about 7 seconds, New Strat saved about 4 or 5 seconds, and jumping on Samuel's head instead of going to the water saved another 2 or so. So yeah. Just have to not mess up sloth jump, which I've been pretty good at doing as of late. I've only played this last part of the game once today, so... Let's hope this works. visit his shrines. I'm not as nervous this time as I was last time. And maybe because this is only improving on the world record rather than taking it. May just be because it's kind of late and I'm kind of subdued right now. And I can't allow that. I mean, even if I do perfect from here on out, there's still a lot of time we can save on the rest of this run. It's not done yet. Could have gone better. I almost choked at that jump. Alright, it's the urn. The only question is uh, how much time I lose or save throughout flooded and later.
Oh, Dodd decided to cooperate too. No two others could stand down. This is my fight. Link was a bit too low, but whatever. The only thing that can stop me now is the storm outside knocking out the power. Which I guess is possible, albeit unlikely. I have too much mana. I have almost a blink too much mana. I don't really think I can make use of it either. Please. I hate that lag. Uh, that blink was a little bit bad, but nothing major. Those guys decided not to give me any trouble either. Oh god. I can't believe you're alive. Everyone, Corvo. Thank you. Walk on the beach. What I find you here? Yeah, I think I was okay. Wow. I'm really surprised that I saved any time there, because that was really solid on the world record run. Ought to be something to see. Oh man. Get hype! I never thought I'd be able to improve this on the world record by this much in one go. Oh man. Uh, it's also possible that the loading times are shorter in this run than they were in my other run. Because I made a point this time of loading every single level before I started any runs today, which kind of like keeps the keeps the levels in memory so that it doesn't take as much time to load them later. And I didn't do that for the world record, but I'll be sure to, to time the loading screen to right after this run is over. Alright, all I have to do is not mess up. And it would have to be quite the mess up for this not to be telling. Give my best to Emily. What the? Well, the uh, the lid to that hatch, the hatch cover, got in my way. It's never done that before. You, Corvo? Sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> oh man. And I said there was no time to save in that last part, and I still saved three seconds. That's... that's amazing.